Abuja, Nigeria's federal capital. Home to an estimated 6 million persons, Abuja is regarded as the fastest growing city in the world. The year 2006 census estimates had earlier put Abuja's population at almost 800,000, making it one of the 10 most popular cities in Nigeria. However, data from the United Nations reveals Abuja grew by 140% between the year 2000 and 2010, with an estimated population of 2.4 million persons. Known as the center of excellence and its state-of-the-art infrastructure, little is known about Abuja's satellite communities, housing millions of its workforce. The communities of Nyanya, Kubwa, Mpape, Kuje, Karu, among several others, is also home to a unique lifestyle and culture of relaxation. The big question, how do the residents in these communities unwind after a hectic work week? Times I take my family out to go out with my family occasionally. It's not restricted to me alone. Take my family out sometimes, relax, catch the phone, and retire back home. Uh, as you can see now, I mean, I'm relaxing. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What can we do? We're just relaxing. Mm. We do. We do. We do. We are wine. I stay in Kuja and today you are, you are seeing me here. And possibly tomorrow you see me in Kuja. You know, I have a lot of friends and then. Um, you know, we'll sit down this way to just um, and, and you know, unwind. I drink, I take a lot of juice. I mean, fruits to unwind. But the weekends, this is how I relax on the weekend. With friends, well wishers, and uh, good people around me. Some of those plus TV Africa caught up with say relaxation has become a way of life for them. I've been relaxing for like several years now. I feel like, you know, when I go through hard time during the day, it was in during the week and I feel like coming here during the weekend to relax myself because I feel like today is the only opportunity I'm going to have during this week. It helps you in like reducing some of your problems because if you relax sometimes when you feel somehow stressful or maybe someone just got you nervous during the day when you come in the evening time like this sit down here and relax yourself you might just forget some of those things. So I feel like relaxing is a very good thing. Several others reveal the frequency to which they visit various relaxation spots which are done the satellite communities. On a weekly basis, I come out weekends, relax and then go back home. Not just every weekend, almost every evening, we do. I enjoy myself because I'm young I like I'm not produced tomorrow, you understand? So, I enjoy myself almost every hour, every day. If you see me drinking now, it's what I take. I'm not good in beer, you understand? So, almost every weekend, as soon as I close from work, I will relax before maybe going to my house. But today's own, as soon as I'm through here, I'm going to choir. Our choir starts by 7. So, as soon as I'm through with this, then I go to the choir. I close by 9, I go to my house. Do this um, weekly basis. Um, let me just say by Sundays, because every other days I used to be very busy at work. So let me just say today I just feel like to come over here to relax with my pretty daughter here, Christopher. Plus, TV Africa visited some of these spots to have a chat with some of the vendors. The idea was to have a first-hand information on events at the various centers and the profitability of the businesses. For how, how long have you been doing this business? For four years. Which days does the business move most? Is it weekend, during the week? Yes, actually on weekends, Saturday and Sunday. Daily, like how much do you make daily? We make like about 16,000 naira daily. How long have you been doing this business? Mm, for like four years. Four years. And we know what you sell, I'm seeing different species of fish. Yeah, I have yeah. varieties of fish, like proper fish. And I have catfish here. That is the roasted catfish, and this is poker. And this is steam one, that's what they call barbecue. Yeah. How is business? Does it move? Yeah. It moves. Mm, sometimes, you know, business, you cannot predict it. 
it goes up and down. So you come to big business. But I thank God. That's what I do to survive. How much do you make a day? Mm, like 5,000 a day. That's minimum, 5,000 a day. Now, which time does the business move more? Is it weekend or Yeah, weekend. What about the thought of ignoring the leisure culture? Some of those we spoke to have this to say. I, I would advise others to at least go out during the weekend, relax a while and then retire home. Taking life so seriously, someday, someday you are here, you are here today, tomorrow you are not here. I mean, death might come and then uh, if you take life so seriously, you will be at a loss. How, why do I say so? Because if you, if you are too serious about life and you don't unwind, somebody somewhere might tomorrow take over whatever position you think you are handling. The people that don't uh, enjoy their life, I will advise them to rethink because we don't have much to stay on earth. It's a, it's a very sh life is very short, so the little you have, you have to enjoy it. So I would advise those who don't enjoy their life to start preparing to enjoy because when they go to the grave, that's the end. While Abuja continues to be marked by its administrative, political and diplomatic status, its satellite communities will continue to fascinate many.